You guys ready? Are you ready? That's the distance I gotta be at. Are you ready? Pretty cool camera trick. Anyway. We're gonna talk about something that a lot of people, some people have talked about on, on YouTube. What, what's happening? Someone dying? I just do a video outside and it, like someone like smashes into a car and just crushes your video. Haven't heard any yelling or screaming yet. Okay. So there's a bait on the market that has taken the world by storm. Does that sound cool? <laughs> so the Berkeley Gilly. The Berkeley Gilly. That guy right there. This is a 90 millimeter. Got him in 110, got him in 130. This came out of ICAST last year. It was the number one bait of all time or something. You know, the, the, it holds the belt. All three, it's unified, whole nine. Anyway, pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty cool. IRL, that's in real life. It's in real life. IRL, in real life. It's a pretty cool bait. Caught some fish on it, it's pretty rad. These fish go nuts. Now, I'm gonna bring up some controversy. All you gotta do is say earmuffs to them. Earmuffs. They can say bitch, whatever you want. If you're bed fishing, yeah, I know. Everybody's got an opinion about bed fishing. Okay, I'm just proving a point. You don't have to celebrate it, Frank. That, I'm telling you right now, the fish will, the bass is gonna eat this. It's gonna kill it. I was on a bed fish for like an hour, throwing everything I could throw at it, nothing. Just sat there, stayed there, didn't leave. Just, it was locked on. I threw this, like three casts, got it. Second one, I, I missed it. It got so fired up. Anyway, that was on the 110. This is the smaller version. So I have some tricks. So here's the deal. You got a lot of people, got a lot of people online talking about this thing, telling you how to rig it, okay? So let me just explain it. Let me just explain. I got, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got a screen grab. I'm doing a screen grab, screen record. Screen recorder. No sound, please. Thank you. That's going to count down. Three, two, we're on. Okay, so go to the TikToks. We're gonna go to the TikToks. This is it. Have you tried the Berkeley Gilly? Yes or no? A overwhelming response is no. Overwhelming response is no. So let's look what what's happening. What's going on here? I don't like this. It's freaking weird. Okay, here we go. So we get into the comments, the comment section. We asked, have you ever tried it? Bourbon Viking, I told you I was going to shout you out. He asked, he asked the question, and the question is this. Can't figure out how to rig it properly to get the intended action. Can we talk about this? Serge, middle of my video, dude. Can't figure out how to rig it properly to get the intended action tutorial question mark. That's where I come in. That's where I come in. So, I'm going to tell you. Terrific question. Glad you asked it. All right. Bourbon Viking. This one's for you, buddy. There's a few different ways. But this is the best way I've found. Everybody tells you to throw a 3 or a 4 out. That is bananas. That is absolutely bananas. Do not do that. I'm out of the, I'm out of the frame. Do not do that. So, this is what we did. Berkeley Fusion. Two watt, just like that. Look at it. Two watt, side rigged. Now, if you guys can see it, see those little lines. See those little lines in the side, right here. Whoop whoop. Okay, you're gonna want to go with the angled one. That's angled towards the belly. Can you can see it. Goes down from the nose that way. Whoop. Angle it from there. Looks like this. See it? 
See how it angles down? Okay. A three aught's gonna put you in the back here. It's gonna put you into this stuff. It's no good. P's action, my man. That's number uno. Then you're gonna throw it. And it's gonna run like this. It's gonna run sideways. It's gonna be like and you gotta run it kind of slow. You gotta figure out like which one, you know, like what speed to run it at. It's no good. No, no good. So people will tell you, throw this sucker right here. Swagger tungsten. You don't have to swagger if you don't want to. That's it right there. 330 second nail weight. And they'll tell you, put it right here. There's a little deal for it. You can see it. You see that little indention? They tell you to put it there. Don't do that. If you put it there, it's going to do the same thing. Now, I will say this. If you throw it into a bed, whoop, throw it into a bed. All the way over there. And if you have that weight in the front, that sucker is going to land kind of like this, and you can kind of drag it across the bed as if the bluegill is kind of like grabbing eggs. That's pretty killer. However, this is this is the juice right here. I'm telling you no one else says this. What I did, I took this sucker right here and I put this 332nd nail weight into the belly and I ran it parallel. Let me tell you something. When you do that, totally gone. Can't see it, right? Totally gone. When you do that, you can run this thing, you can burn this thing as fast as you can and it's going to stay upright. Now you tell me a fish that swims sideways, not natural. This thing, burn it. Throw an eight and a half to one, I don't really care. Throw a ten to one, that Abu Garcia or whatever it is. As fast as you can and this thing goes it is dead nuts straight and that will get you that'll get you some bites my man bourbon Viking thank you for the question okay we appreciate it now here's the smaller version I'm gonna go a little more in depth here here's the smaller version this is the 90 I haven't thrown the 130 yet I don't get a lot I mean look man that's Go ahead and throw it. Big bait, big fish. I know. I'm going to throw a 12 inch or bait and I'm going to catch a 15 pounder and that's freaking sweet. Or you can throw a drop shot and catch a 15 pounder. So let's not talk about the size of the bait. It's not the size of the bait, it's the way you work it. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Look at this sucker right there. Ha! That is a size 2 EWG. Now you want to do it, you can do it. That is awesome. I'm telling you right now. Put it in there just like you would rat, run any wacky, you know, or I'm sorry, any any Texas rig style bait, right? So you're going to pop it in there badly like I did it. And you're going to run this sucker in. And you're going to stab yourself with it because that's important. And bam, that's it. You're done. It's completely weedless. Okay? Completely weedless. You can't even barely see it, first of all. Look at it from the other side. You see it? Yeah, yeah. All right, so that's a great way to do it, okay? I got another one. Get you, a, uh, get you an owner centering pin, okay? Since I don't have one out because I wasn't paying attention to what I wanted to do for this video, I'm going to have to take one off. Thankfully, I have the technology. So, let's get one off here. Okay, owner centering pin. They call them hitchhikers, centering pins, whatever. Put it right here. See this? Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Okay, so this is the, this is a, it's a fluke trick. I learned it from the guys at Tactical Bassin. Really dig in, it's almost gone. Pretty much it is gone. You can barely see it, right? can't even see it and then take this guy and you go right through
because this thing is weedless, now you can throw that sucker. Now look, good luck, it's not coming out. You can throw that sucker into the weeds, into the tulies, into the rocks, it's not gonna get hung up. And your hookup ratio is gonna be a little bit better, okay? This is a small setup here. You can also throw this on a drop shot. I mean, I know guys that have said they've caught them on drop shots too, and that's cool. I would do the same thing if I were you. I would run the centering pin because you're going to save baits, okay? These things aren't very durable. They're not durable because look at them. Look at this. They're not durable, but they're freaking sweet. All right, so here we go. That's the deal. I got another video coming out for another gentleman that asked a question. Actually, he's responsible for me spending more money in tackle because, uh, well, he told me about another bait that I needed to check out. Based, well, that's as far as we're going, but it has something to do with the Berkeley Gilly, and uh, we'll wait till next time. So, in the meantime, thanks, UPS. Again, with the guys driving by. Don't forget to check out Inland Baits, Brent over there. Inlandbaits.com, it's right here. Whoop, DP20 at checkout gives you 20% off. You can also go down right there in the video description, click on the link, goes right to his website. All the custom baits your heart desires. Man, glad you guys are watching. Glad that Bourbon Viking Ask that question so that we can get back to you guys. And I've been wanting to do this for a while, this Berkeley Gilly, and no one's touched on this stuff, so it needs to be said. There's some things that people aren't doing right, in my opinion. Proof there, I've caught some fish, and I had decent fish, some bed fish. I mean, we've having having some fun with it, and now you can burn it across, and it's not going to go whoop, whoop, whoop. So that's what you want. All right? Subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up, hit that bell right there, then you guys get notified every time we get a new one out. You guys are rad, we love you. See ya.